Welcome back to a new video. This one is called custom sort string. It's all the markers medium, but it's a very easy problem. Uh, it just says that again, um, you must must have known by from the problem name itself. We have to sort a string, and that sort should be a custom sort. Custom sort on the, because if you had seen that we had learned some custom sorting based on comparator, so it usually is on the basis of some condition. What the condition is that we are given two strings, order and s all the characters of order are unique so basically i have unique characters in order and were also sorted in some custom order previously so this order string is customly sorted or sorted in a custom order now we have to permute the character of s which is another string i have order and i have string i have order string which is already customly sorted and it has only unique characters i have a string s on which i have to apply operation of what sorting now uh, i have to permute permute as in just simple apply some custom sorting of on s permute is nothing but arrangement of something right so that they match the order of that order string which was already sorted by some custom sorting cool now more specifically if the character s x occurs before a character y in the order then x should occur by in the permuted string also now the main condition the main condition which you, which you should not, not forget is last line return any permutation of s which satisfies the property mark their word why they have written any permutation because they have only given half condition i are what do you mean by half because you'll see okay we have order which has unique characters and it is customly sorted we have to sort string s on the basis of the occurrence or the order in order string so i know that c okay how many times my c occur in my string s it should come first because my c has the first occurrence so here i will grab and c should come first okay then b should come next okay b should come next then a should come next then a should come next okay a so this is what the, what the problem was saying that's it again like if if i had b's like if i had two b's so both the b's should have come right here but okay i have i had only one a so you one b so one b came here but it was half of the problem and that's it the problem only says us this part rn but the string is not completely done my string s is not completely done because string s also had d what if it also had e what if it, it also had f what about that then you don't need to satisfy any condition whatsoever it is not required for you to put that in the correct order def it is not required you can do it in any order you can do it as a eft that's fine e d f that's fine that is the point which you should discuss with your interviewer that he wants what do he want the remaining ones in s to be in the correct sequence in which they were originally there or not if he wants that then the question will become a bit tricky which means another a few conditions will be added in that also so what we will do is we will just simply can do anything we can do a edf but here in this case i had only d so i'll just put a only d and that's the answer for me same way for the next one i know my b will come here my c next okay my c next my a next okay my a next f f is not even there no worries g g, g is not there no worries and then d ultimately d will come here so answer is b c a d so you have seen so far that we we have to say exact same thing what the question says we have to sort we have to sort string s on the basis of some custom sorting which is and you know how to do a custom sorting based on based on comparator we have to do a custom sorting based on my string order right and how in how for sure if a character's location when i when i mean a custom sorting I can say okay uh, whenever we sort any string let's say do a sort sort of s dot begin and sort of s dot end then for sure we pass a custom comparator in the custom comparator we can just write that comparator okay usually for the small functions we write a we write a lambda function lambda function in C++ okay uh, in C++ it's bit tricky but in Java and other language it's much easier to write lambda functions but usually we write okay this address says that whatsoever other parameters in the function will pass in as an address now we will as we are doing custom sort of s so for sure we will grab two characters of s and then we will just see who should come first let's say i grab character a and character b 
now i have to find who should come first so the character which has earlier occurrence in my order should come first so i can simply say that uh, i can simply in my order i can find this character a and then in my order i can find this character b whosoever has a prior occurrence which means if occurrence of a is less than the occurrence of b for sure a should come first and i can simply return a true on this condition that a should come first on this basis and that's how i can write a simple comparator in my main s string while sorting and that is what the problem was saying also for us do a custom sorting and i can just simply write the exact same code which i showed you above write sort and thus this is a custom comparator which i have written and that's how i can simply say my time is o of n log n because of sorting and space in java and c++ sorting by default will take o of n log n oh sorry o of log n space but for python it's o of n but can we improve it yeah maybe we don't need sorting at all because if we just go back and look what we wanted ultimately we wanted that okay i should know that a c a c i can simply do one thing i should want okay whatsoever c's are there in my string s should come first then whatsoever b's are there in my string s should come next then whatsoever a's are there in my string s should come next so i can simply keep track of whatever characters are there in s with their frequencies why are you because what if my c is occurring thrice my b my a is occurring twice so all the c's should come first then a b then all the b's and then all the a's and then ultimately whatsoever remaining is there which is not yet consumed in the because of the order one i can simply write it later on again in any order that's the last line in any order the remaining ones in any order so for that i simply should need one thing as i saw i need all the c's which means i need the frequency of c's because i know c is one character and how many c's are there i need frequency so what i'll do is i will grab the frequency of s i will say okay a is occurring twice b is occurring one and c is occurring thrice and d is occurring one i have grabbed the frequency now i can simply iterate on my order string i go on from the left i will say okay first string is s my lord is asking for a string sorry my first string is c my lord is asking for a string c how many string c's are there okay string c's are three okay write c three times okay next is string b do we have string b first do we have string b yeah we have how many times one time okay write string b one time okay gone next is string a how many times we have string a string a two times okay a a gone next okay it is finished but our answer is still not made maybe so i'll iterate on my entire map again and whosoever is remaining for example in this case my d was remaining okay just put that d maybe it has a frequency of two my e has a frequency of one maybe that case okay put a d d and e maybe i could have put a e d d that's also completely fine so this portion remaining portion need not to be ordered if it had to be ordered it would have added a complexity again for us in which we have to keep track of the actual indexes of the of these character itself but now we don't want so we would not need to do that cool so what we will do is exact same stuff we'll do uh, we will just firstly grab the frequency of all the characters in my string s i went on to my string s and grabbed all the frequencies now i went on to my order string went on from left to right and then okay if some if some element which is right now in order current current element in order if that as in like when i say element i mean character if that character has a frequency more then keep on pushing that in your answer i did not do a answer plus is equals to el I, I did not do answer plus equals to character or answer plus equal to el because this is a high complexity task in which entire string needs to be appended with one character which we don't want so what we actually want is just push back the character it's a o of one operation cool please please make sure to not add please make sure to not do a answer plus equal to c all that will pass but it is a high high it takes high time as in like it takes more time so uh, what we will do is we'll come back and say while the frequency is again Arin, why did you use a while loop because i know that frequency of a character can be more i i told you frequency of a let's say a here frequency was two so i can tell my frequency of a can be more so i just have to append all the a's so while my frequency while my frequency is more than zero simple keep on appending my element now okay i have went on all the elements of my order which is all the characters of my order 
what are the remaining elements so i iterate on my map my frequency map i iterate on it again and from that map whosoever frequency is still remaining which means whosoever frequencies is still more than zero please bro simply keep on appending that also in your answer string and ultimately return that answer string so because of this you are linearly going you are simply using a hash map so you know the, the, the main complexity for you is actually in a linear terms so your time is actually linear and you are using a hash map which only contains as you can see if you come back it only contains the lower case english letters so your hash map in worst case will have 26 26 characters and that's the reason my space complexity is over 26 you can also say as over 5 although you can also argue are in this login thing is also over 1 because our n is pretty small but yeah no worries we can just simply mention this to our interviewer and that's how we can complete this i hope that you guys got it it's simple um just a sorting again uh, it might happen that you might get this method to or approach to click first because it's much more convenient and easy usually we see custom come pattern sorting based on the arrays and not on strings so there can be a chance that okay this is not the first approach which you might have thought of but still it's good to know both cool bye bye cheers thank you